What's up guys, Sick Crazy here. Today I'm bringing you guys a 31 and 12 gameplay on Hijacked and um, today I'm also going to be bringing you guys another high school story. I gotta stop this real quick. Alright, so sorry about that. Um, so anyway, I'm back. Um, so today I'm going to be telling you guys a really funny story. I'm not going to, it's going to spoil the story if I tell you guys what it's about. So I'm just going to give a little bit of a backstory first. So. Uh, before I say anything, I do not support anything that happened in this story. I'm just telling a funny story that happened um, that I still can't believe to this day that it happened. And it just happened the other day, so it was like a week ago. So, and uh, another thing, uh, I will be keeping this person unnamed for the sake of, for their sake. And no, it is not somebody I've ever talked about in a video before. Um, it's one of my friends from school, so it's no one I've ever talked to in a, I've ever talked about in a video before. So you don't, um, it's not anybody you might think it is. So anyway, that's it for the backstory and disclaimer. Um, so my friend, I'm gonna call him Bob for this video. Um, he's been going out with this girl who I'm gonna call. I'm trying to think of a three-letter name that'll be easy. Ann. Ann. So we're going to call it Bob and Ann. Now, that's not their real names. It's nowhere close to their real names. Um, and Bob and I have been friends since, like, the first day of high school last year. And um, he was in my homeroom, and I cracked a joke or something like that, and him and I instantly became friends. So I've been there for him. He's been there for me. Um, I'm kind of like his wingman, kind of not... Um, like, he's, like, I'm his wingman, he's my wingman, he's not a good wingman, though. Um, so, anyway, um, I helped him with this girl, who I'm friends with, um, Anne, like I said, I'm friends with her, and, um, I helped him, because he had, like, a huge crush on her, and he wanted to, like, it was, like, one of those love at first sight, sight things, and, uh, he wanted to come up to her, he wanted to ask her out, cause, uh, he thought she was, like, um, she, he, he told her, like, when he asked her out, he said, like, you're the most beautiful, I'm not even gonna say, cause it's just disturbing, anyway, um, I mean, what he said was nice, but, I mean, it's just, I don't feel like talking about it, um, so, he said to her, he, like, gave his whole speech, and then asked her out, and, they, this was like October of last year, so they've been going out for almost a year. Um, around the same time, I started going out with the, the girl, Caitlin, that I mentioned in um, my one, I think it was High School Stories Episode 2 for a serious girlfriend um, that I talked about that she ended up cheating on me. I started going, it was, it, we started going out with our girlfriends around the same time, so uh, we'd gone out with, like, I had gone out with Bob and Ann and Caitlin a couple times, and um, everything was going fine, and then Caitlin and I broke up, but that's besides the point, um, so, anyway, um, Bob comes up to me, and he says, Mike, I think I really need to get this moving, I was like, what do you mean, he's like, well, it's been three months, and I haven't kissed her yet, I was like, okay, I don't care, uh, and he, he's like, well, you're not gonna help me, I was like, what do you want me to do? He's like, well, how should I do it? I was like, I don't know, just do it. <laughs> so, he's he asks, that's like just an example of some of the stupid stuff he asks me to do for him and asks advice for. And um, I was like, well, I can't really give you an example because I'm not gonna, like, I was like, I'm not gonna kiss you because that's gay. And then he starts, he like starts laughing. He's like, no, no, I meant like, you got a dummy or something. I was like, where would I get a dummy? And then he goes, true, true, true. Maybe I could get you a girl to try it out on. I was like, dude, I'm not helping you. Go ask one of your friends that has a girlfriend or something. And he's, like, cracking up. Because he knew, he, I knew what he was doing. He didn't seriously need help. He just, like, he kind of needed advice for, like, what, how to do it. Like, not how to, like, just what was the right setting, which you can't really give advice on. Uh... Anyway, and he's like, alright, well, I'll go ask somebody that actually does have a girlfriend. So it's his way of busting on me for not having one, and I just, uh, really don't care. 
<clears throat> like people can bust on me all they want. <clears throat> In the end, any money I get is going towards me, not somebody else. And that might be selfish. And I'll make another commentary about that. But uh, yeah. Anyway, um, so he's like, I uh, he said he really wanted to get it moving. There's that whole conversation. So finally, they've moved on after that. I don't know why it took him so long, but anyway, um, <clears throat> like, he eventually moved on and things progressed, if you guys know what I mean, and, uh, comes to about April of this year, so they've been going out about seven months at this point, maybe, no, I don't know, I'm not gonna do math, um, <clears throat> yeah, I think about six or seven months, yeah, six months, <clears throat> so they've been going out about six months at this point. And, um, he told me that he was going to ask her to the, um, spring dance, which was, I think, or, like, April 15th, and it's, like, the beginning, very beginning of April, maybe in March, I don't know, I don't remember when my spring dance was last year, because I didn't go, so, um, <clears throat> anyway, he asked her to that, and then, finally, they went to that, and then, a couple weeks ago, he comes up to me and he goes, Mike, I really need to need your help. I was like, what's that? He's like, I'm too embarrassed to go. I gotta keep my voice down because I don't know if my dad's in your shot. But he's like, I'm too embarrassed to go to Wawa and buy condoms. I was like, are, are you serious? And he's like, yeah, I need to buy condoms. I was like, no, you don't. <clears throat> I was like, you can do what you want, but you're doing it yourself. And he's like, no, no, please do it for me. I'll pay you extra. I was like, no, dude, I'm not. And then he like kept asking me to buy them for him, and he kept begging me and begging me, and I was like, dude, I'm not buying them for you, it's disgusting. And then he's like, dude, I'm so embarrassed to do it, I was like, then why? And I was like, then you're not ready, and then he's like, yeah, whatever. And he finally got some other guy to do it, so that's besides the point. So anyway, guys, comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, me down, description below. As always, guys, this has been Sick Crazy, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, hopefully you guys enjoyed it.